So this is going to be a test to see if we can actually drive with the microphones. Because I have a feeling they're going to bump. And we're locked in and on our way. So, okay, now if all this is working correctly, you should be able to hear us on the uh, Rode microphone that we just plugged into the GoPro. So we're now running two GoPros, one uh, out the left driver's window, so you'll be able to see what happens as we drive by, and one facing forward, like I say, with the, the Rode microphone attached to it, so you should be able to hear us a little bit better now. So we will attempt to keep the swearing to a minimum, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll just give this a whirl for a little while and see how we do. And that was me turning the side one off just because there was nothing going on. Of course, now... It is train ramp coming up. Yeah. So, so yeah, now this is... Down. If you haven't been able to hear us before, this is uh, one of these pedestrian ramps. And they can be up to 10 Hello. inches tall and several feet wide. And you hit one, you'll destroy your vehicle. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. They want you to pay attention all the time. <laughs> Which is weird because none of the locals seem to. But then they know where the bumps are so they just run along till they jam the brakes on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they give you a warning and sometimes they don't. So you really have to pay attention. I'm hollering about you saying, huh? <laughs> Navigators have to pay attention too. <laughs> well, in this country there aren't very many roads, but you do need a definitely a good navigator. There is just so much to be aware of and so much to pay attention to. All the really cool houses that I would like to show you are on the other side of the road to the camera that's facing out. But I know for a fact that as soon as I move the camera to the passenger side, all the cool houses will be on the driver's side. So to hell with it. We'll just leave it where it is. We'll let you see Belize as it unfolds around us. one of the motorcycles on the side of the road. And a horse. Oh, we'll get the graveyard too. And the horse. Oh, he's tied up and not happy about it. No, he's he wants not. to go further. The grass is greener on the other side of the of the of the street. All of the bridges in Belize are X-rail bridges, and they are all road bridges now, and for the most part they are single file. This one, when they replaced it, they made it a little bit wider, and as long as you're not an oversized vehicle, you can go two abreast. Ooh, he said breast. <laughs> so, okay, this is the big change for us. We are now going to turn down the Hummingbird Highway. You're saying, how do I know this road so well? I don't. This is the first time I've driven down this one. We've but always gone the other direction to get to the zoo, or to try to get to the zoo. <laughs> but since there's only really four main roads in this country, it's pretty hard to get lost. And we have been driven on this road in the dark. 
Yes, the when, first year we came. When we were going to Placencia. We went to Placencia and then we said, oh, let's go to Caracol. So we had to drive all the way back up here. Thinking, oh, Caracol's just on the other side of this mountain. And it was, but there's no road. There's no roads. We can't get there from here. <laughs> oh dear. So that was the year Mr. Basilio picked us up at 4.30 in the morning. Drove us from Placencia to San Ignacio and dropped us off at Harry's dad's house. And Harry came and picked us up and took us to Caracol. And then that evening, Harry brought us back and dropped us with Mr. Basilio at the gas station and who took us back to Placencia in time for a late supper. So, okay, now I'm lost. I didn't think there'd be a right or a left turn. Uh oh And the major uh, appears, everybody appears to be going left. Hmm. I think we'll go straight through. I think we will too. Until we find another sign that it's says It's got a stop ways. sign. We don't, we're on the highway, therefore highways don't have spot signs, correct? I don't know. It's a good theory. It says hummingbird finishing. It's a good theory. So we could be lost already. My navigator has failed me. Oh, holy. <laughs> I have a map. I have a map, map we're says... never lost. The map says go straight. Okay. It didn't say anything about stopping. <laughs> well, we'll assume we're on the right road. Here's a green sign coming up. Maybe it'll give us some idea of what we're doing or where we're going. Say most likely. Hmm. Oh, there's signs up in the hill. Yeah. Alrighty, we got signs. Hooray! Everywhere. Let's see what the signs say. Belmopan Dandrigam. Left. Yes. Downtown. Although we can go to the Town. Poho National Park. It's oh, this is this, this thing. Yes. I remember this. This is the running man. I remember this. So we're gonna go this way. Yeah. National Park is this way. So again, we hope we're on the right road. Because we really don't know. It says Hummingbird Hill. That yep. would be a good sign for it being Hummingbird Highway. I would think so. It really is. There's um, the Blue Hole National Park, which is an inland sen sen yeah. cenote. A Thank series you. of cenotes, yeah. The Petroglyph Cave is on, it, on our way. Oh, really? Yeah. So maybe we should stop at the Petroglyph Cave. Perhaps. Well, I mean, you don't have the book handy to find out whether or not it's a... It's just in my bag, but I can find out. It's in my backpack. But you will see. St. Herman's Cave is on this way as well. Herman's Cave? Herman's Cave. St. Herman's Cave. Oh, St. Herman. Yeah. Take a picture of the interior of the car. Right now with all the bits and pieces? Well, yeah, if you put the camera sort of on that window, it should be able to catch everything, right? That one's that one, yeah. So that's the actual, what you'll see is the actual setup of how we've done this. <clears throat> From the mic and the other one to the other one, yeah. Cool, okay. Yeah. yeah, I can't really see with my sunglasses on, but then yeah, sorry. I'm supposed to be watching the road, yeah, so... Yeah, okay. I'll get a little higher, too, and do another one. Man carrying his helmet. Okay. Oh wow, look at these guys. <laughs> They're on the side of the road, buddy. Aqua via. Okay. Life water. Mm. See, here it happens again. Some really cool little places on the right hand side, and yeah. the camera's out the left. Well, that's However, okay. we are going to catch the guy on his bicycle taking his kid for a ride. Mm. Yeah. And we should have both of the motorcycles as they zoom by. Oh, yeah. This 
guy slowed down, I'll slow down. It didn't say anything, but you know what? Discretion, discretion being the better part of stupidity. We're in Armenia. Yeah, we're in Armenia. Armenia, please drive safe. How did through. we get to Armenia? I thought we would at least be in Mexico, Special. Guatemala, or Costa Rica. Or well, Armenia is between Roaring Creek and um, Saint Urban's Cave. Oh, okay. So we're on the right road. We are on the correct. Yes. Hey, cool. We're not lost anymore. We are already lost in the first place. It's impossible to be lost in this country. If you haven't got the right road, you just turn around and go back. This is called adventuring, not getting lost. <laughs> yes, Correct. we're going to get all these guys Oh, standing everybody on the waiting on their the bus, road. yeah. So here's another bus stop coming up. You'll be able to tell because there's on the right side of the road, there's a stand, but on the left, there's just a whole group of people waiting for the bus. That is a dog, isn't it? Uh, yes. Big mama dog. You can tell. Bumps. Okay. Every area oh, has their own way of doing bumps. It seems. Remember in Santa Elena, they're sleeping policemen. They are that. They've actually changed the signs. Yep. More and more jungle. Oh my. We are really in Central America. find it easier when these guys pass just to let them get out and beside me and then just tap the brakes once and you slow down he shoots by and if we were a Harrier jet the missile lock would come up and we go bang you're dead but this way we get the traffic out of the way yes and the GoPro will show it any very well it is in HD and all that but it's just so Lush. Incredible. Just lush. lush. It's like if that was a, a little terrarium at home, you'd be really proud of your ferns and your little teeny tiny bulbs. Or a conservatory, I'm sorry. But holy smokes, when you've got an entire hillside that's, you know, greenhouse quality. <clears throat> and there's no wonder that the greenhouse people come down here and go, oh, you know? If I had a camera pointed backwards, you would now see that we are the only vehicle on the road. We are lost in the wilds of Belize. But we're not lost. We're on the only road there is, so it's pretty tough. It only goes one or two ways. This way or the way backwards. Oh, wow. Look at the view. Just gorgeous. The GoPro, because of its wide lens, will show you the vista out there, but I'm not sure that it will have the same feel that it's got for us. It's it's just huge. An orange grove on both sides of the road. I tell you, when they talk about fresh orange juice in this country, they really mean it. Stop. Why are we supposed to stop? Well, you see this big hunk of not really road there? I don't know why we're stopping, but we'll just ease on by here okay. because it looks like the thing to do. Uh, we didn't really stop. No, but we slowed down. There's not much difference, is there, officer? <laughs> As he dragged me out of the window and started to punch me about the face and head, I yelled at him, stop, stop, and he says, oh, so there is a difference between slow down and stop, is there? I'm going to have to start taking lessons in conversational Creole, I think. Wagadoon. Okay. 
I don't even remember what Cruz said that meant, but it's on the voice recorder. We'll eventually play it back. Okay. We'll figure it out. But now you guys can see, hopefully, these guys sitting on the fence from the forward camera. And then as we go by, you'll get a look at them on the side camera. But everybody birds in the trees over there? Yeah. Or is that bugle? No, that's, uh, that would be um, a termite. Here you go, folks. This is somebody quite well off. What does it say on the front? It doesn't say anything on the front. Wow. We are meant to guess. There you go. Yeah. Coming out from somewhere, as it were. Oh, that's cute. The British influence there. Dangerous curve ahead. Ooh. Wow, there's this is the first time we've ever seen a sign like that. Well, no, the well, last time we came this way, Basilio was driving, so. Well, okay, yeah, so I wasn't looking for signs. No, we weren't, and it was dark. <laughs> so we were glad that Mr. Basilio knew where he was going. <laughs> St. Margaret's. Police station. Oh, police substation. Yes. And it said, Welcome to St. Margaret's Village. It did. Yes. Back in the States? This doesn't look like Vegas. <laughs> it's a chicken bridge. Well, we're going to win the chicken race or die here, so. <laughs> Yeah, we had to slam the brakes on it now when we're coming up. Oh, we don't make this one. <laughs> That's weird. The top of that hill over there, there's like a split. Look at it. Way over there. Holy cow. That's weird. The side cam is running. I don't know whether you guys will be able to see that, but Barb's right. There's just literally a split in the mountain, as the, though it's cracked By open. the time we get to see it on the side cam, the gap is closed. But there was two, just it's like they cracked them out right down the middle. So, hey, is that two temples? That view. Yeah, I'm kind of getting my mother's itchy foot here. Oh my god, this is amazing. Actually, I guess I'm really not itchy like my mother. I'm kind of itchy, but not <gasps> like my dad. Look at the greens. Oh my word. How many different greens are there right there? I don't think there's enough colors. We'll have to ask an Eskimo to describe the colors. The Old Hammock Bridge Backpackers Resort. Okay. Boy, that's pretty rustic. Holes <laughs> <laughs> at the Palapa. Well, that would be a just res yeah, just repair resort or something. Well, I guess sleeping under the plop at the cowfish was kind of like camping in a hut or a hut. Yeah. With a decent bed. Although, yeah, it was a canoe. He did roll through the middle. <laughs> I found that. It's like, wait a minute. I didn't start here. I'm Isn't all the way weird? over there. Yeah, it's low. I think the bed sagged it, while we were it, in it. Well, yeah. You, no, it, when I looked at it, it was definitely, it 
was tilted. Yeah. That was funny. It's like, okay, you're supposed to sleep together, but it's a king size bed. Where Cisco Sistress. It is. Yeah, no, it's all along the highway here. Um, what are these pink flowers? I think those were oleander, I believe. I'll have to look it up in my flower book that I bought. Oh, and look at this garden on the left here on the side camera. Yeah. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah. Now he's slowed down. <laughs> it's a rose canard leaf. Ah. <laughs> oh, there's a reason why he's slowing down. Holy smokes. Get this it picture. goes straight down. Get this picture. Oh, geez. I'll pull over. Okay. <laughs> yes, they're really serious about slowing down on this particular hill. Well, some of them are. Yeah, well. And there's these guys. And the bus. Well, we're not sure what they've blown, but it's not running. Okay. Everybody's having a coconut while they're oh waiting. Oh gosh, look at this view again. This day, you come round the hill and there's another incredible view. I'll talk when the road's not quite as windy. <laughs> and here comes one of the, another one of our bridges. There'll be a river to the right. There he is. And the left, I betcha. <laughs> they are one, Scott. It may not be the Isle of Man. But I'll tell you, this would be a road to ride on your bike. I mean, on a cruiser, it'd be cool. But once you got to know this road, you'd scream through here, buddy. Watch out for the potholes. Yeah, watch out for the tapers. Watch out for the armadillos. Oh my gosh, yeah. But well, this is a road, man. You'd, you'd love the curves in here. Get a huge view in a second here. Everything is opening up, and we've climbed up to the top of a ridge. So, uh, more curvies. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Jocelyn's fast food. Angie's fast food. Yeah, we got one, two, three, four more to Hope Creek and then Dandriga. <coughs> Sorry, we didn't get Dandriga, so we're not far. So I guess this counts as our vlogging start as far as Dr. Mucker and she who must be obeyed. Here we are in Belize. A little gem of the world. Driving down the Hummingbird Highway between Bellman and Dendriga. Aha! What do we have here, folks? I think we'll slow way down because this is the one we haven't seen any of these in a while. Mm -hmm. So it could be nasty. Yeah, oh, not, not bad. Not bad.
Middlesex. By word, we've moved all the way back into Britain. Bump. This one seemed to be a little more launchy for him. So. Launchy. Yes, will it Now, there's a technical the... word for you folks. She who must be obeyed says launchy. Okay, you're condescending. <laughs> you know where you're going to end up. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> Sorry, dear. Uh -huh. Oh, look at teeny trees. Probably oranges. All planted out here. This is one of the old train bridges. Look how narrow this is. This would just be wide enough to get a set of train tracks across. That's it. National Waterfall Park. Isn't that funny? I'll take a photo of that. to stop at Awe and Sons grocery and they're closed today. Oh dear, so we'll get a cold drink at the next one down the road in. Uh, he didn't say. Oh, okay. He said I might be able to turn right into the next village and somebody might be open. Oh well. But I have a, a feeling that Easter Sunday might be just as difficult for the non-Chinese grocers here for some reason. Well, we'll see what, what happens as we go along. We've got water. We won't die. We actually have a bottle of Fanta. Oh, that's right, too. And a bottle opener. Yep. Yeah. Never mind. Bloody flowers. Was that House of Culture?